Wow, 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 wow. Of course, of course, my people from wherever you're watching, ladies and gentlemen, huh? remember this is a Melky show. And of course, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscription. Now, hapo hivyo ni mecheck ivana when you may react hapo hivyo mini me penda too sana that you run you nataka to end us in the So guys, the only thing unaweza fanya hapo hivyo na kudisaidia ni kusubscribe, kulike, share, comment. Najua sisi tumetoka very far and we are adding very far. Mazee, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome back to another exciting moment of Domit. Of course, Domitila uh, is a new story in town because, guys, that is why I'm going to the what is happening. I'm going to start with what is happening. I'm happen next. I'm going to start with what is next. So, my video today, I'm going to show you how to like about Domitila because this is bad. Mimi, personally, personally, Domitila herself, I'm tafuta guys. After I'm going to start Niliwambia alikuwa anaishi macha. So uh, ni mkamba but uh, alikuwa anaishi macha after what had happened akafukuzwa kakuja Kisiland. But you guys nataka tu niwachukue pole pole because we want to get yani tunataka tujue Domitila ametokea wapi. So as per venye alinieleza na venye muliona na my previous show. Muliona by the way ile maule madha alilia vibaya sana but haikuwa show poa by the way. Imagine that is your mom when analia that way. Just imagine. Domitila was married. Uh, was married to a man. Na hu bwana yake na unaona ni bwana yake ni alikuwa anga ni sema ni chief ama ni village elder kitu kama hiyo. Uh, this village elder ni msa alikuwa anatetea haki za wananchi, alikuwa anatetea haki za wana kijiji. So people loved him very very much. So that is why ikafikia at a point yenye unapata kila mtu alikuwa anampenda so domitila alikuwa anaishi maisha mengine fiti sana and kitu kitu hadi nashtuka he was a village man si ndio domitila herself aku amesoma domitila mwenyewe alifikia sijui ni class 7 ndio alipata ball aku endelea kusoma this is a village elder of course i'm not judging him but uh, realistically guys hata nyinyi mnaweza tunaweza judge pamoja This uh, ni village elder ambaye pia mtoto wa shule ball as in yeah Domitila so far kuna watoto wawili ni Jack and Isaya So Domitila akweza kusoma meaning like uh, alipatia chance bwanake because ali, ni unajua ile utineja kupendana nini so ni kitambo walianza relationship since wa kwa yeah So msaka maliza shule ndo huyu akaya akafanywa kuwa vile jelda ndo huyu chief. So hapo kijijini he used like uh, people used to trust him. People used to alikuwa anapigania watu haki zao. So that is why we say like ah uh, bwana Domitila alikuwa someone ako very passionate, ni msa alikuwa anasaidia watu. So at one time because this kijiji as usual kijiji ngi nuko home as si mnajua nga what is happening there ma venye vitu zinaenda enda yeah kijiji pia ina uh, songa songa so changes team of change by the way so after like decades and after some time kijiji ilianza ku grow and this kijiji had a special kuna ile shamba ina kwanga special wanasema hapa yenyewe Takuja tufanye nini tutakuja kujengea watoto wetu shule hapa. So walikuwa na, na land hapo hivyo. That land they used to protect it. Hapo hivyo functions they used to happen in that. Unajua nini kama hiyo hapo ndio wezi walikuwa wanachomewa. <laughs> Wewe uti kama kama ni mwizi unateketezwa tu na hiyo field hapo hivyo. So imagine that is that is the hiyo ni village village field as in sasa hiyo ni land because hapo hivyo kwa village unajua kukosangi watu wenye wanakwanga na mado people have money people have money here and the people watu fanya vitu mingi this this one pastor na vemulisikia because this pastor and noma as in the way i'm just told by domitila herself this pastor mwenyewe mwenyewe he had money ni mtu anatembea na boat guards is more than is more than that goon the city goon people know him is more than him ni mtu anatembea na mabot guards ni gari ni mingi like yani ni pasta so at this point alikuwa anataka that shamba 
he was greed like he wanted that shamba by force so akaomba omba akaomba omba baba domitila anaweza kumpatia that uh, shamba but uh, you get like this man used to stand this man alipigania wana kijiji so my people that is what we want people stand people want to fight no no hii ndio kitu tunataka bana so after metaka hiyo shamba uh pastor he used connection in yale connection zenye alikuwa nazo akauha akauha bwana ya domitila and of course akachukua that shamba na after some time una get this pastor ameanza ku lay the foundation of the church hapo hivyo the sons bado ndio wana grow this who son by the name uh, ilikuwa isaya isaya ndio nasikia isaya ama ni jack jack ndio ame yeah I think Jack Jack ndiye alikuwa kidnapped. He was kidnapped by the same same pastor. So niambie, who pastor amenyanganya watu shamba? The same same preacher ndiye ame uwa bwana ya Domitila. The same same preacher ndiye ame kidnap mtoto wa Domitila. Domitila is just crying. He want justice back. Domitila wants her son back. Domitila wants the land because it was the wife of the chief yani kama kiongozi bado she wants just imagine unafukuzwa hadi kutoka kwako you are fleed ndio huyu ameflee hadi mama tunakuja kumpata hapa hivi mazee kuif just imagine that life the kind of life that woman is living just imagine that is your mom the kind of living the kind of life anaezaishi amenyanganywa chenyeni chake ana hata unga na venye economy imetupika kama kura just imagine so domitila aliweza kutoroka akakuja so uh, at ni habari tulikuwa tumepiga tulikuwa na show kuna show tulikuwa tunapiga i think ilikuwa moja tulikuwa moja ya yeah, tulikuwa na stano tulikuwa na stano stano mwenyewe ndio alikuja ka face so stano was very like alikuwa na inaitwa fixed sana stano alikuwa fixed sana ata sa hii by the way saina run business zake because currently sanako very busy yeah so sanaka ni pacha de mandate akaniambia melki i have you have to fuatilia this story wherever you need any assistance i'll be ready to assist you in the conjunction of the ugandan dci because everyone is just asking ugandan dci ako wapi yeah she's around because I na jua na fuatilia this story of Domitila Moon on the Cross why 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 watu wanavalia ngozi ya kondo nje lakini ndani ni umba mwitu so that is very ridiculous bana hmm? the dramatize other people bwana just imagine that kind of life Domitila anapitia so my people this story is very critical and i want specifically kufuatilia this story because at the moment umeniona mali nimejipin nimejipin very proper i want like because yesterday mali tuliachana domitila is i want i i myself i want like uh, nifuatilie kabisa i was to send lazima ningetumia affair kijana aka kuje kutoka nairobi surprisingly and kitu iko very happy uh, kijana aka is a law student is a law student at uh, at uh, Kenya Kenya law schools na get so that is a good show because this son at one time atapigania haki ya wanakijiji at one time this son ata atajua kila kitu so guys mali muko mnajua mnaniamini tena sana and of course we hope like isikue kipindi domitila anatuletea hapa and of course we hope these are based on a true life story of course yenye tunafuatilia Domitila ameteseka vibaya sana and of course I felt vibaya sana because hata mimi I remember guys my mom at one time you know what happened so guys uh, let us keep waiting because bu uh, jamani liongea na you boys nimemtumanisha fair i think he's coming so maybe by tomorrow all the day after tomorrow takwa tumempata na tutakuja na yeye on set with a mother yeah because i wanna ana place ya kulala nita organize I'll, I'll organize because I'll organize tafutiwa nyumba hapo town hivyo akaeka hapo hivyo kidogo kidogo 
si ndio so guys the only thing hapo hivyo mzee mnaweza fanya ni kusubscribe na pia remember we are just following this story these are maybe these are second uh, episode yenye tumepiga but uh, these are clarification of the first episode because some people may not understand the story about Domitira that is ha that is ha is a young lady mstana wow. mdogo so guys let's meet on our next show thank you thank you bana thank you thank you keep on subscribing the only thing ni kufanya ni kusubscribe subscribe to my channel na alafu tutaona venye kutaenda so guys let's meet let's meet on our next show thank you thank you thank you so much